हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल पे आपका स्वागत है टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डिफॉल्ट बेल बेल इन डिफॉल्ट यू आर अवेयर बेल एंटीसिपेटर बेल एंड टुडे टॉपिक इज अबाउट डिफॉल्ट बेल व्हाट इज इट आप तो जानते हैं कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल मैंडेट के बारे में The person who is arrested or in any crime, he has to be produced before the court within twenty-four hours. And if it is not possible for investigation machinery to conduct investigation to complete investigation within that stipulated time, then he is to be produced before the court, and the court will remand him in the judicial custody. It is called magistrial custody remand (MCR) or judicial custody. then question arises how long he can be kept behind bars without filing final report therefore there is a time stipulation provided in the code of criminal procedure for filing of final report and if the prosecution machinery does not file charge sheet that final report within stipulated time in that event the person who is arrested that accused person is entitled to be enlarged on bail this kind of bail is called default bail because there is a default on the part of the investigation machinery to file charge sheet within stipulated time you are aware that if somebody is arrested and if he is ordered to be released on bail by the court it is called bail regular bail if somebody has apprehension of being arrested then he can move to the court of sessions or the high court seeking protection from arrest it is called anticipatory bail bail in anticipation of arrest pre arrest bail anticipatory bail so this third kind of bail is default bail wherever there is a default by the prosecution machinery in filing fire final report in that case the accused person a person who is arrested becomes entitled to be released on bail section 167 of the crpc specifically provides such a time stipulation it provides if the charge sheet has not been filed the final report has not been filed within 90 days see there are two time limitation 90 days and 60 days 90 days in is in respect of the offences in which punishment is for life imprisonment death penalty life imprisonment or the punishment not less than 10 years and in case of in case of other offenses the prescribed limitation is 60 days to file final report in respect of death penalty life imprisonment and the imprisonment for not less than 10 years the time limitation is 90 days and in respect of the other offenses other punishments the time limitation is 60 days same provisions rather similar provisions have been incorporated in new bhartiya nyay sahita 2023 section 187 of it talks about it there is little bit difference it provides 90 days period 60 days period the wording is slight different 90 days period death penalty life imprisonment and the punishment 10 years or more 10 years or more in the present crpc the wording is not less than 10 years this is the slight difference of words otherwise provisions are similar in the new code also new sahita and on expiry of that stipulated time say 90 days or 60 day days the person who is arrested becomes entitled to be released on bail on 91st day 91st day one has to file application for releasing on bail in case of 60 days limitation on 61 60th 61st day he becomes entitled to be released on bail and this is statutory right of the accused it is the duty of the concerned magistrate of the court to inform him that today is the 91st day today is the 61st day 
and therefore you are now entitled to be released on bail since there is a failure on the part of the investigation machinery to file charge sheet and thereafter the accused person has to apply to be released on bail in that event it is his indivisible right to be released on bail provided that he should apply for it he should be prepared and he should be ready to submit the surety as may be ordered by the learned court this is called default bail bail in default it is statutory and valuable right of the accused guaranteed under the code of criminal procedure one more important point to be considered and to be kept in mind is what about the investigation officer who has committed default in filing final report within the stipulated time because by committing default by the investigation officer he is indirectly or directly helping the accused person to be released on bail and therefore the bombay high court the honorable bombay high court has issued direction whenever there is default in filing final report within stipulated time then the concerned magistrate the concerned court shall seek explanation from the concerned investigation officer as to why he could not file or why he, why did not he file charge sheet final report within stipulated time and if the explanation of investigation officer is not satisfactory then then concerned court shall send the report for departmental action against the errant investigation officer and therefore it is mandatory to follow this mandate one more thing whosoever commits default in this regard shall also be held liable for contempt of court these are the directions issued by the honorable high court to ensure that no deliberate default is committed in filing final report in respect of the serious offenses i say नए नए टॉपिक्स के बारे में छोटे छोटे लीगल इश्यूज के बारे में जानकारी के लिए हमारा चैनल देखते रहिए थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग टुडेज वीडियो हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूले शेयर करें धन्यवाद जय हिंद